Winchester House, one of the most famous and legendary haunted houses in the United States. From the outside, you will see a large mansion covering an area of more than 400 acres with a high red roof in the style of an old American house. But inside the house is full of horror stories of the owner of the house, Sarah Winchester, escaping from the evil spirit inside her own house. The Winchester family is well known as the owner of the gun manufacturing company, Winchester, which changed the face of American history forever. Don't forget that in the past, a rifle could be loaded with bullets at a time, but Winchesters could hold up to 13 bullets. This allowed the United States government to successfully seize the land from the Native Americans who could only use bows and arrows. The Winchester family thus became one of the richest families in the country from selling guns. But the greatness from the business of killing others did not last long. In 1866, Oliver, the son of the company at that time, and Sarah Winchester both lost their only newborn daughter from unknown causes. That time caused Sarah to go crazy, and it took her ten years of therapy before she could recover. Shortly after she recovered from her illness, her husband, the only heir of the company, died again. Left with a large inheritance all alone, Sarah began to grieve again. She was at her wit's end and began to use black magic to help by trying to communicate with the spirits of her husband and son through a medium. The medium said that the deaths of both were due to the curse of many spirits who died from the rifles produced by the Winchester Family Company. The next person was Sarah. She had to move to the West according to the medium's advice, which was San Jose, California. She bought 160 acres of land, or about 400 right, and hired villagers, workers in that area to be carpenters, painters, and other craftsmen, housekeepers, gardeners, servants to come and build and expand this house all the time. Yes, 24 hours a day, day and night, taking turns, no days off. Because she believed that the more complicated the house was, the more the evil spirits would not find her. In addition, the noise from the house expansion all the time would prevent ghosts from bothering her. Importantly, she also switched and took turns sleeping in different rooms every day without telling anyone so that the spirits would not find her. In summary, this mansion took a long time to build and the extension took a total of 36 years. There are seven floors, 160 rooms in total, divided into 43 bedrooms, two basements, 950 doors, more than 10,000 windows, 47 fireplaces, 40 staircases, two banquet rooms, three elevators, many chimneys, and more than 10 skylights. In fact, no one can tell how many rooms there are because every time the operation to count the rooms in the house began, the results were never the same. Therefore, the saying that there are 160 rooms in this house is just a rough number. The strangeness of this house includes windows that look out to only the walls of another room, stairs leading to the ceiling but there are no rooms, Doors that open and there is nothing but empty walls. Doors that open to the lower floor, but there are no stairs to go down, etc. These are because this house was not designed in advance. But the unexpected happened in 1907. There was a major earthquake in California. The Winchester Mansion collapsed until only four floors remained. That night... Sarah was trapped in the ruins and almost died. And the maids had a very long time. Until she was found, Sarah finally decided to sleep in one room permanently so that it would be easy to find her if anything happened again. And then she could not escape her fate. 
On September 15, 1922, while the carpenters were building an extension to the house, lightning struck near where the carpenters were working. The two carpenters were scared and did not finish the work. That night, Sarah passed away at the age of 83. People said that she died because she stopped building the house. Today, Winchester Mansion is a registered historic site and has become a famous tourist attraction in the state. It is open to the public to buy tickets to enter with a guide at all times. Otherwise, visitors might get lost in there themselves.